Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Bryce Corbett. It's Wednesday, February 14. In Squiz Kids Today, schools close as Victoria bakes, Rio's colourful carnival, Lucky the deaf muster dog, and Taylor Ticket Mania. That's what's making news, kids style. The Lowdown. Schools were closed and students ordered to stay at home across a large part of regional Victoria yesterday as the southern state sweltered in temperatures that hit the 40s and brought with them bushfires and evacuations from towns near the Grampians National Park, plus thunderstorms and hail that left thousands across Victoria without power. Yesterday afternoon, people in the towns of Halls Gap, Belfield and Pominal were told to evacuate as strong winds turned grass fires into fast-moving bushfires, and emergency crews worked into the night to control them. The heatwave conditions also whipped up huge thunderstorms across the state, so big that they wiped out the electricity supply to more than 70,000 Victorians and threw hailstones the size of golf balls down onto towns like Ballarat. Melburnians also had to take cover yesterday afternoon as a severe thunderstorm swept the city, chucking down hail and disrupting the train and bus network, causing commuter chaos across the nation's second biggest city. Heatwave conditions and thunderstorms are a lethal combination when it comes to bushfires. Weeks of hot weather dry out the fields, the grass and the bushland. Then the lightning from thunderstorms hits the ground or trees and sets the landscape on fire. Cyclones, bushfires and hailstorms. What a summer it's been. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Brazil, where the country is throwing one very big party as part of its famous carnival celebrations. In cities like Rio de Janeiro and Salvador, the streets are filled with partying Brazilians, wearing bright feathered and sequined costumes of every colour imaginable taking part in huge parades down the main streets of their cities, where massive floats featuring the most elaborate designs carry dancers and performers. A float is a motorised platform. Think of it as a huge, very decorated truck. I've stuck a link to some video of it all in today's episode notes. The Carnival in Brazil is also known as Mardi Gras, which is French for Fat Tuesday which we also know here in Australia as Shrove Tuesday, which in the Christian tradition is when people eat pancakes before giving up all sorts of lovely treats for Lent in the lead up to Easter, which my friends is now only six weeks away. Woohoo! Animal Kingdom. Hands up, who's been watching the ABC TV series Muster Dogs? How good is it? I especially love watching it with my own muster dog, Louie. He's a border collie and spends a lot of the program sniffing behind the TV, looking for the dogs on screen. If you haven't seen it, you'll have missed the incredible Lucky, a muster dog who rounds up sheep and cattle for his owner, Frank, despite the fact that he's deaf. So how does Lucky know what to do if he can't hear his owner, Frank, shouting instructions? Well, Frank gets down on one knee and claps as a sign for Lucky to return to him. Or Frank stabs his foot so that Lucky can feel the vibrations in the ground and look to see what hand signals Frank is making. Amazing. I've stuck a link to video of Lucky at work in today's episode notes. As Frank says, I just decided I would train him and win him over using friendship. And now I'm lucky to have him. Lucky you are indeed, Frank. Pop Culture Corner. The internet went into meltdown yesterday afternoon after Taylor Swift, whose era's concert tour arrives in Melbourne on Thursday, put some last minute tickets on sale. 
The tickets were for seats which don't quite have a full view of the stage at both of her Melbourne and Sydney concerts, but the fan frenzy it spurred was as epic as everything else to do with Tay-Tay has been these past few weeks. The tickets sold out in a flash, within minutes of them going online. It follows Tay-Tay causing a splash at the Super Bowl in the United States on Monday, the big grand final of NFL football, which saw her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey's team, just beat their opponents, the San Francisco 49ers, in a game that was forced into overtime. But because this is Pop Culture Corner and not sport time, let's give a shout out to Usher, whose halftime performance was spectacular. Who knew that the man could also roller skate while he sang and danced? Just incredible. I stuck a link to video of it in today's episode notes. You're welcome. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. Which team won this year's American Super Bowl? Yeah, that's right, it was the Kansas City Chiefs. Question number two. In which country do they take to the streets to celebrate Carnival? Of course, it's in Brazil. Question number three. What's the name of Lucky the Mustard Dog's owner? His name is Frank. Shout out. It's February 14. Today, my friends, is Valentine's Day, when you can send a card, flowers, chocolates to someone you love. Maybe it's someone you secretly admire from afar, or maybe it's someone you love openly and in full view of the world. Whatever it is today is a celebration of love, people, which makes the world go round after all. It's also a special day for these Squiz kids celebrating a birthday today. Harriet from Forest Lake, Audrey from Tempe, Josephine and Phoenix from Yass, Sebastian from Gilverton, Emile from Normanhurst, Christian from Lura and Riley and Maddie from Holland Park. And a happy belated birthday too, Michaela and Damon from Lura, Nora from Goodna and Isa from Sydney. And today's classroom shoutouts go to Class 3S and Mrs Sutton from Blaney Public School. Class 5-6-B with Ms Cronin from Ardea South Primary School. Classes 4-5-6 Hot Shots with Mr O'Connor from Mulbring Public School. Year 4 with Mrs Bryant at St Columbus Primary School in Adamstown. And finally today to Class N-15 with Mrs George at Eddystone Primary School in Perth. Now, don't forget if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out, or if you want a classroom shout out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au or fill out the form on our website. And teachers, don't forget there's a form there too for you to fill out the birthdays of every kid in your class. Simples. Well, that's all we have time for, friends. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, Get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out.